Hi, I'm Andrew Malkav. If you want to learn how to use containers, but you don't know where to start, this is the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Docker on Windows 10 and Linux. In my next video, I will show you how to use Docker to run containers. So subscribe to my channel to not miss it. All right, I switch to Windows first. And to install Docker, I'm going to open my browser and I go to docker.com. I click that I accept all cookies. And this is actually the official website of Docker. Here I click on products and I scroll down a little bit to see a Docker desktop and I click see Docker desktop. And the first link that I have, download for Windows. By the way, if you're using Mac, this is the link to download it for Mac. I click download for Windows and the downloading started as you can see here. The window starts scanning the file for viruses. I hope that official Docker installation will not have it. And okay, everything is good. So I cl can click open file. So I will minimize my browser. And as you can see, Docker suggests us to install required Windows components for WSL2, as well as add shortcut to desktop. If you don't know what is WSL2 or what is the Windows subsystem for Linux, you can use this link to get more insights how to install uh, the real Linux distribution on top of the Windows 10. I click OK. The process will take a few minutes to finish. And it's done. And it says that we have to log out of Windows to complete the installation. I click Close and Log Out. And I'm again logging into my Windows. And I'm successfully logged in. So as you can see, Docker add a desktop icon, which to be honest, I don't very like. So I just move it to my Recycle bin, because I prefer to have an empty desktop. And it also says that the Docker is starting, uh, and we can see it if we just open our hidden icons here, and we see that the Docker icon, uh, and if we just hover the Docker icon, it says that Docker is starting. So we have to wait a little bit to let Docker start the first time. And now, Docker is started. I close this window. And to test that Docker works correctly, I go to my terminal. By the way, if you don't have a Windows terminal, that I really suggest you to install it. And we can find the process by this link. Okay, and I type docker ps as a command. And as we can see, we have some output here, so the Docker actually works well. We don't need to consider now on the commands uh, which I type. You just need to blindly repeat what I type. I will discuss the Docker commands in my upcoming videos. In my case, I also have a Linux machine, Ubuntu machine, that I'm running on my Windows 10. And if I switch to my Linux machine, to my Ubuntu, and I type docker ps here, I see that it's also working fine on my Linux machine. How it's possible? To answer this question, let's go to the Docker settings. So I click here, I click right mouse on the Docker, and I click settings. And there are a couple of settings involved in the process. The first one, it's a use WSL2 based engine. It's the first one. And the second one, if you go to resources, if you go to WSL integration, you will see that it enable integrity with default WSL distro, but you can also activate the Ubuntu 2004 in my case. And I click apply and restart. And right now, everything is ready to start using Docker on Windows 10. I close the settings window and to test that Docker will be able to run the containers, I can return to my Windows terminal, to the PowerShell, and type run command. 
which actually instruct the Docker to run a container. I type Docker run and then hello world. I click enter. And if you able to see this text, hello from Docker, it means that Docker can successfully run our containers and our installation process for Windows is finished. Thanks so much for watching. Right now, we have everything prepared to actually start to use Docker. So please subscribe to my channel to not miss my next video about it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments to this video. Thanks again and see you next time.